Okay guys, welcome back to a new episode of Patrick331 Drives and today I'm actually gonna be driving my own car, my 2014 Ford Focus ST. And why I'm gonna drive this one today? Because it's actually the last day I'm having this car because I'm selling it. Uh, you'll get to know why um, soon. So we're just leaving uh, Simon Motorsports here. Good, good friend of mine as you might know already. And what can I tell you about my own car? So it's a 2014 Ford Focus ST. It's not a facelift version, it's the older model. Uh, but nevertheless, it's freaking amazing because it's a four cylinder turbocharged 250 horsepower car. And it's damn, 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 a lot of fun to drive. Yes, it cannot compete with all the cars that Simon is uh, basically having there, but if you consider that this car here in the UAE is uh, 98,000 dirham brand new, with a really, really amazing uh, warranty of uh, nowadays even 5 years and 100,000 kilometers, and it's a daily driver, I mean it has 4 seats, 5 seats, 4 doors, has a decent boot for a car like this, so it is actually a family fun car. Uh, for the father to have, um, and even if you have kids or if you're a couple and then you get kids, you can still continue owning, owning, owning this car, not owning, owning this car, because uh, it has enough space for two kids. It's very practical. It has this awesome recaro seats here, uh, which really hold you uh, back pretty good, and in the corners especially. Um, suspension a little soft, I would say, especially compared to all those Ferraris and Lamborghinis that uh, I'm always shotgun riding with the front. But uh, that doesn't matter, so we compare this car. Um, it has cruise control, it has uh, dual zone air conditioning, as you can see here. Um, quite a lot of buttons here, a lot of people complain about this. Uh, the new one has a little bit less and a little bit different setup of the button, it has more of a V shape. Uh, you can check it online for the new car. And um, what I really, really like about this car is that it's a manual, six-speed uh, manual box, and it does drive really, really cool, and it shifts really well. Uh, I've driven the um, Corsa OPC, I've driven the Astro OPC, and I have to say, even though they are quite a lot of fun to drive, the gearbox is quite shit, especially the first and second gear in the OPC Astra is really, really bad. Uh, I just can't get it in here, this one is perfect. And uh, the clutch is nice, it's not too soft, it's not too hard in the Focus ST, so this one is good. We just accelerate now a little bit. So it is a lot of fun to drive, I have to tell you. And uh, 0 to 100 in 6.5 seconds. Top speed, they say 247, but I've seen already people doing 265 with it. According to the uh, dashboard, obviously GPS, I guess we'll be around 250. And I really love this car. It's great. I'm selling it because I'm leaving the country, actually. So if you will see that episode, you might, uh, I might be already gone because I'm moving to uh, Switzerland. So that's one of the last episodes, basically, of uh, Patrick T31 drives. Not in general, but in the UAE because. Uh, I'm gonna be driving cars now in Europe. So um, you will be seeing me all over Europe. I'm gonna be, hopefully if I find the time for all the events, attending events in Monaco, in Austria, in Switzerland, in Germany, uh, in Italy. So I'll be driving quite a lot. Uh, I'm not quite sure what car I'm gonna get. I guess it's gonna be a diesel. Pretty boring, you might say, but... That's what we do in Europe, we drive diesels, and the good thing about it is fuel consumption is very low, torque is very high, and it's a lot of fun. Okay, back to the car. So, what do you think about it? I owned this car now for a year and a half, I put in on 28 and a half thousand kilometers on this car, and I never had a problem with it. It was always fun to drive, fuel consumption, my average was 10.7 liters on this 28 thousand kilometers because I was keeping track of it. 10.7 for 250 horsepower car is really reasonable, I have to say. Much because it's turbocharged. Uh, yeah, turbocharged, actually, there's a turbo gauge, the one in the middle there, uh, which you, when I step on it, you see it's moving. And another thing. 
thing that you hear as well is, uh, let me just slow down so I can show it to you again. This car has this, one of the first that had this um, sound alternator or whatever you call it. Uh, basically if you drive slow and you don't see a turbo, uh, you don't hear a turbo, you don't use it, then it's pretty quiet. But if you shift down, when you put in the turbo, you can hear it. It has a, has a like a, a valve that opens up from the engine bay to the passenger's cabin that uh, produces this noise. However, this is only hearable for the driver, not for people outside. So the car from outside is pretty much like nothing. If it wouldn't have this fancy tangerine stream uh, named color, you wouldn't even recognize it really. I mean, yes, it has rims, it has body kit and a uh, rear spoiler. But other than that, you wouldn't really even see that this is a sporty car. Um, because you can't hear it. You can't hear that it has power. It's just so damn quiet. And uh, now we're in a traffic jam. Let me just go this way then. Um, yeah, I mean, for that price, it's amazing. I mean, Europe, this car is uh, 29,000 euro for discount. I guess you're gonna get some discounts. Uh, but it's just too expensive. It's freaking expensive in Europe. I really hate it. Um, he afforded really everything right. They gave an amazing warranty. They gave a service package, warranty package, and the price just below 20,000 euro, which is exactly what this car should cost. And it's so much fun to drive, honestly. I love it. I love the looks of it. I love the way it drives. I love that it's a manual, not a stupid automatic, because I love to drive manual. And that's pretty much it, I would have to say. Um, well, one more thing. That button, ES, what does it say? ESC, ESP, ESC off. Stability control basically and traction control. If you turn it off and you accelerate in first gear, it will freaking spin the tires and burn rubber like hell because it's so much torque in the front. Uh, it has a torque steer vectory control um, if it's activated, which basically prevents the car to, uh, to lose grip. But if you turn it off, it just spins and goes left and right. It has just too much torque in to the front. That's why I'm really, really interested in. Uh, the new 2016 Focus RS when it's going to come out because I think it's going to be amazing for the drive 2.3 liter turbocharged engine. Uh, they have a drift mode in that car. Can you imagine drift mode and 315? They say 315, something 325. Honestly, I hope they're going for 350 because that's what the car needs to beat the Golf. Uh, it should be more affordable than the Golf. It should have more power than the Golf. It should be more fun and more mean looking than the Golf. This is how Ford's gonna sell its cars. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much, Ford. Thank you, my baby, for giving me a really awesome one and a half years of driving pleasure. Um, I hope the new owner will treat you well, and I will see you guys in Switzerland with whatever car I'm gonna have. I'm gonna show it to you for sure. And um, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun in Switzerland and in Europe. And stay tuned for more episodes from Patrick Drayton. Take care and have a good day. Cheers. And don't forget to subscribe.